What's your business style? Are you someone who loves a lot of primaries? Do you want some secondaries? How do you work with people? Oh my goodness, I'm wearing my Sex Geek Summer Camp shirt. This conversation must be about business, being a sex educator or a sex positive entrepreneur. This is Kathy Bartuli from TheIntimacyDojo.com. This is Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com and Sex Geek Summer Camp. Dot com. And last night in the hot tub, we were talking about how business relationships somewhat resemble romantic relationships. Mm -hmm. And we were talking, there was just, we just did a video on whether you're poly or monogamous, you might have a, a poly style. There's different poly amorous styles where people sometimes have a V, like that one person is dating two other people. Um, there's different styles. And if you can take concepts that work for a community um, in a challenging, like it can be challenging to talk about polyamory as people are opening up relationships. And some of this languaging has worked really well. If you can adopt it, and get concepts that benefit you, then why not? Mm -hmm. Grab them and run. Grab them and run. And then just for those of you who, who are listening to this who aren't in the in the world of non-monogamy, mm -hmm. I'll jump There's in. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to, I'm going to drop in a, a, a music analogy. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're starting a band or if you're just somebody who loves playing, like you want a duet team, would you be bothered if the person on your duet plays and gigs with all these other bands all the time because that's what, what Kathy needs as a musician. Are you going to be pissed at that? It's like, no, no, no. Our duo is sacred. What are you doing? Um, so sometimes if, if the poly stuff's not working, just try to try to apply it to, well, if I was starting a band, mm -hmm. um, what would that be like? And there's nothing wrong with, I want a duo. I want to be Donnie and Marie and Marie never cuts an album with anybody else. Ever. Ever. And it's okay to be be the person who's like, oh no, I'm I'm really slutty with my music. I want to be on everybody's albums, make guest appearances, do all this stuff because that makes me and my my the way that music comes through me happier. Yeah. So that I'm just trying to drop in a, a couple of different ways of looking at this. There's nothing right or wrong, however you look at it, but having a framework and, and a concept that you can build on lets you communicate with your partner and lets you know, hey, if I enter this relationship, this business relationship, this business relationship, am I meeting my needs for what I what I like to do? Yeah. If you're the person who's like, Marie, <laughs> never with anyone else. It's really important to know that. And tell you, your partner. If you meet a musician who's like, oh, I can't wait to work with you because I just love working with all these people and I don't get to play this kind of music that often. So this is going to be great. You can be like, oh, no, 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 no. We're in a monogamous duo ship. You do not cut other albums with other people ever. Good for you to know that and good for the other person to know that too. And you might have an agreement where, okay, we're just going to do country western together. You never do anything else country western, but you can do jazz and classical with other people. That's okay. like, you can do butt sex with me, but no butt sex with anybody else. Yes. Um, so the concept of primary and secondary means a primary is someone who fits a more traditional, like it would be more... If, if you looked at a monogamous relationship, that kind of relationship in mm -hmm. terms of the people are making decisions together. Rick Wilkes from Thriving Now and I have a, a primary relationship. We both own the business. Any decisions we make are made together. Mm -hmm. um, and we can each work with other people, but any decisions made about the business are made between the two of us. Mm -hmm. they, have a, they have a primary relationship where they both have a, a certain amount of say in how their lives get affected by each other. That's a, that's and people in the poly community have lots of different definitions for what primary means, but this is kind of the way that we're using it. They're sharing finances, mm -hmm. they're they're living together in their intellectual property yeah. that they build together, and they both own that, which then means you know there needs to be a conversation about how they get divorced. Yeah, their exit or agreements is coming up. Watch the video. Yeah. We'll, talk, we'll talk about breakups in business in a second. Yeah. So Reed and I have what I would call a secondary relationship. It's his business. Um, he makes the decisions. I can say, I don't think that's a good idea or I think we should go in this direction, but it's ultimately his decision. So we get to collaborate together. I love collaborating, but it's his business, so I would consider it more secondary. Mm -hmm. And I have some what I might call tertiary relationships with other people where they call me like, Hey, I need help with this. You know, like it's midnight and I need to get this out. Can you help me with something? Or 
um, I need help with this particular project where I'm not really in a long term. I'm not helping them build their business long term, but I'm kind of chipping in and, and helping them. Mm-hmm. Now, a good friend of mine, Nina Hartley, um, had this to say. And then this, again, I'm just, we're dropping in a bunch of sex geekery from relationships. N- Nina and her primary partner live together and, and share finances and things like that. But when they're not together, this is what Nina's words, um, she gets to do whatever she wants with her body and her time. So a free agent. She's a free agent. Um, and she picked a partner who doesn't get upset by Nina doing whatever she wants to do, even though they're primaries. So, so there, there are different kinds of primary styles too. Some primaries are like, no, 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 no. Like we're, you need to consult with me on these decisions and there's lots of great resources uh, in, in the poly world for how to figure out and navigate these things. And if you're super geeky about business and not into poly, you might want to pick up a couple of these books, some really great books. Um, Opening, up, Tristan. Opening Up, Tristan Terramino. Um, there's another great book, More Than Two, which I'm really bad about remembering those authors. Um, we'll put it down. That have a lot of great questions to ask yourself. And these questions you can apply to your business relationships. Yeah. So this is just, we thought the framework was pretty cool and it might be a good way. Um, I often go to business conferences and I'll see people going, I love that idea. Let's do a business together. And they they don't talk about exit strategies, which we'll talk about in a minute. They don't talk about styles or any of that. They're just like, we'll split 50-50 and we're going to go do this. They fall in love creatively mm-hmm. and then they start a family because that's what you do when you partner around business Mm -hmm. so again like when you start realizing you have other options and what your what your own needs are you can start asking better questions and then figuring out ways for you to be able to collaborate and 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 share creative energy Mm -hmm. in a way that leaves both of you feeling better and more happy and more self-expressed doesn't mean you won't have tough times we're going through a tough pass right now but that's normal in things so can you talk about them? Do you have the tools? And then we're using the geekery that we're coming up with talking about this stuff to share with you guys. Mm-hmm. So leave comments below. We'd love to know what you think. Are you primary or secondary oriented? Or is it okay to have some relationship, business relationship with each? Yeah. Which I love. So we'd love to hear what you think. How does the music of business come through? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>